So here we're given a sequence and asked to determine whether it converges or diverges. Um, so like any other, uh, like we're determining any sequence uh, or determining the convergence or divergence of any sequence, we just look at the limit as n goes to infinity of uh, an arbitrary term. So in this case, 5 sine of n plus 7, the uh, whole thing divided by n squared. That's kind of hard to tell um, what goes on if this actually converges to anything because, well, the denominator is getting extremely large. I mean, it's going to infinity and we're squaring it on top of that, so it's going to get large very quickly. Um, so we'd like to think that goes to zero, but then sine of n is kind of always stuck between zero and one, so we don't really have precise estimates of what this is going to do as it gets large. Uh, so what we're going to do is, and this is a good strategy, anytime you see a sequence, or you're trying to prove, prove the convergence of a sequence involving sine or cosine, is just to remember that it's bounded by, um, or bounded by negative one and one. I believe I said zero earlier, that was uh, not correct. Sine is always between negative one and positive one. So we can start out with this and the idea is to kind of start adding things, adding and dividing and multiplying the, um, each side of the equality to get this to look like this. So first thing we notice is we probably should multiply by 5 since there's 5 sine n. So that means that minus 5 is less than or equal to 5 sine of n, um, which is less than or equal to 5. All right, and there's this 7 here, so let's multiply or add 7 to both sides. So we have minus 5 plus 7 less than or equal to 5 sine of n is less than or equal to 5 plus 7, which is equal to 12. All right, now uh, let's divide both sides by n squared. So here we have 7 minus 5 is 2, so 2 over n squared. So less than or equal to 5 sine of n plus 7 over n squared less than or equal to 12 over n squared. And now we have um, the exact term that we want to take the limit of, but we have it trapped between these two functions. So if we look at uh, the limit as n goes to, now understood, n, n goes to infinity of uh, 2 over n squared, that has to be less than or equal to the limit we're interested in. So the limit is n goes to infinity of uh, 5 sine of n plus 7 over n squared, which again must be less than or equal to limit as n goes to infinity of 12 over n squared. All right, well, as n gets bigger and bigger, uh, this just goes to zero. And there's really no difference here. We're just multiplying by 12. And it goes to zero as well. So we have that zero is less than or equal to our limit, which is less than or equal to zero, which means that um, sequence converges and it converges to zero.